Welcome to Battle Truth, in my point of view. I don't know you, so I'm not a hater. I could only give you the facts that's written on these papers. And since we have no dealings, therefore the court can care the less about your feelings. I'm the Honorable Malachi Markili, your presiding judge, chairman, and spokesperson for the One United Front. You are my witnesses and jury. You may be seated. Court is now in session. Let's talk about it. Okay, man. It's done. The verdict is in. The long-awaited battle between Twerk and Swamp has ended. Now, this was a battle, Twerk, you begged for. You begged for this battle. You wanted this battle because of what you saw Swamp do to your fellow brother, Ace I mean. When Swamp whooped his ass, you begged for this battle. Only to then get your ass whooped. Yep, that's exactly what happened. <clears throat> Bless me. He beat Ace I mean ass. <clears throat> Bless me. Then he came and beat your ass. Easily. Clean 30. It was a clean 30. And this is unacceptable. Let me tell you why this is unacceptable. Not only is it unacceptable because this is one of the worst battles to lose when it's a battle that you beg for. You beg for this battle. He didn't ask for you. You asked for him. You begged the URL to book this battle because you wanted to teach him a lesson. Because according to you, he's not that good and he's nothing but hype. Only for him to whoop your ass. Now what's the excuse? Is he really good or is it still just hype? Well, not only is this a bad battle to take because you lose and get your ass whooped. What also makes this battle bad is that you had more than enough time to have your material together. This battle been delayed two different times, which gave you two extra weeks to get it together, only for you to still come to the battle not having your material down pat. It be it, Don't it just amaze y'all when battlers who known for choking and jerseying out then uh, uh, implement that in they rounds of some type of pretending, faking, choking to make people believe they finna do it again. Then they say something like, psych I lied or nah, y'all thought I did it again. Only for him to actually do that in the second round then end up really choking again in the third round. This was a clean 30. You know what's crazy? They wanted to give Twerk that win, though. They wanted real hard to get Twerk that win. A lot of them want. Let me tell you something. When you were watching this battle, man, this was kind of pathetic to me, but I'm still going to talk about it. When you were watching this battle, man, <laughs> look, let me tell you something. Nobody in battle rap, I, I, I want to go on the record saying this. Nobody in battle rap has more gas than Twerk. There's nobody in battle rap has more gas than Twerk. Not to say that he's not fire. Not to say that his pin game ain't nice. But let me tell you something. They be ready to cheer for his bars. Just like Charlie Cliff was saying when Charlie Cliff went against him. And it's crazy because I find myself sometimes get caught up in the hype. I'm already ready to say, that was crazy. Before he even said what was crazy. That's how I did listen to him rap. It's like he, wrong doom, die, don't he? I coming on. Then you already be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> I think we need to all bang the gavel on ourselves for that. Every last one of us who been doing that for him. Keeping this man at this damn gas station and not letting him go on and hit the highway to do what he have to do. I think we all need to bang the gavel on ourselves. No, 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 we wrong for that. We wrong for that. No wonder this brother to some degree can't get his stuff together. Because if we already hyping it and already stamping and proving it before it's done, before he even get to get to the point he's trying to get us at, he already being rewarded. Congratulations to Swamp. One down, two to go. One down, two to go.
Now, I'm going to tell you this, Swamp. And like I said, I went on record saying this, brother. The three guys who are in your way right now, Twerk, Rock, T-Top. I said, if you're going to be any one of those three, it may be Twerk. Twerk may be the one you beat. Why? Because, again, he's not conditioned to go the distance. I keep telling y'all that. Now y'all starting to understand it. He too big. He got to get in character. That take a lot out of him. If I'm twerk, I only do, and that character he rap, I'm only doing two minute rounds. No more. I'm only doing two minute rounds so I can get through all three of the rounds. Because when he rap like that, that's going to take a lot out of him. Not including, he, he's so energetic. He's so impactful. You got to have breath control. His drilling and pumping. That's going to take a lot out of him, a lot out of him. So if I'm twerk, to stay on course, to continue to be explosive, I'm only doing two-minute rounds. That's it. With that being said, that's why I said, out of all those three, the one you most likely to beat is twerk because he's not conditioned to go the distance. And they was ready. If Twerk would have got through all three of his rounds, I'm going to keep it real with you. You may, you would have lost that battle because he's going to have the edge out the gate. Over, over, over anybody he battled, for the most part, he's going to have the edge because he's just that crowd favorite like that. You saw it in the building. You had to fight for every bar that you got applauded on, but they were ready to give him his easily. I'm just keeping it real because that's what it is. When you're going up against New Jersey twerk. Now I would say this to you, Swamp. You living up to the hype. You living up to the hype. Um you actually accomplishing what you said you're gonna accomplish. And I'm just telling you something on the real, brother. One down, two more to go. But these other two ain't been look, these other two, it get a little harder. You took the easy one, it get a little harder. It get harder now. Moving up the ranks, it get harder. You got past an explosive brother who's still up and coming, but actually is a superstar. You got past him, and I'm going to applaud you. You did your thing. You got past him three zip. That's extra. Two one would have been good, but you, you I'm going to give you the body. I'm giving you the three old body clear. Clear. Even though people want to get twerked the second round because, again, they caught up in the hype. They caught up in the energy. But your second round definitely beat his second round easily. Easily. I try not to get caught up in the hype. And some people were caught up in the hype that want to give him that second round. They were caught up in the hype. But if you're listening and paying attention, bar for bar, what was being said, you clearly won that second also. So you won the first, second, third round clear. Now, the third round, that was a give me. Twerk could have got that third round because your third round wasn't that solid. And you ended it short, too. So, see, let me tell you something. If that rock and that T-top, you dead. You was dead. You was dead. Let you, have, let you have a short round going up against them. You dead. They not going to play with you. That's, that's, look, them boy conditioned. Strapped, ready to go the distance. The distance, in condition. And almost every line, bar after bar after bar, with angles. So, it get harder for you. Like I told you. I'm proud of you, little bro. I am still ain't a believer, but I'm going to give you your credit. I'm going to give you your credit. Depending what you do with these three, come with these other two, then the jury will be in on me. But for right now, going up against Twerk, that was good. But I'm not convinced because Twerk give away a lot of battles. But to your defense, you was on fire. What? He said, I raised the fifth and plead the fifth. Fire. Fire. That was crazy. I liked it that. He, he, he was saying some stuff. So you ready, you got it, but there's some things you got to strengthen. You got there's some things you got to strengthen up, little bro, as you move forward to take on Tay Rock and take on T Top. They not finna play with you. Especially after seeing what you just did to twerk. You ain't do nothing but just intensify they pen even more to know that when that date is signed, they know to come with it and can't play no games. None at all. So I ain't gonna even front. 
You did your thing, little buddy. You did your thing. I'm proud of you. Again, I'm still ain't an overall believer. You know, I mean, I don't go with the hype because I know you got some things you got to prove. But these upcoming two battles don't show what you really made of, brother. They don't show what you really made of. I love the fact for the most part you allow your uh, talent to speak for itself. But all I'm saying, little brother, is this. Get ready. Get ready. Because uh, you just set a fire in battle rap. Your, your name definitely finna be ringing for a minute. People can't play no games and talk. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, Swamp. This real talk. Stay confident. Stay confident. And cocky. When addressing these things. When people telling you about twerk, you know what you say? I dirtied him. Don't say it was a debatable 2-1. Nope, nope, nope. Look, this what you say. This raise your stock. I thirtied him. I thirtied the up and, and, and use that. Do what Surf be doing. See, when Surf get his wins, he capitalize off of it. Don't just accept it as a win and try to play humble. This battle rap. When you stick it to somebody, you put that you put that teardrop under your eye or you put that 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 scar on your body, whatever. You got to wear them stripes well and always remind the person of your victories and what you done. Because guess what? When you lose, they're going to try to do it to you. So when you smoked him, that's what you're supposed to say. Yeah, I smoked your boy. I smoked him. I 30 him. And whoever else wants to them, they gonna get it too. Ain't too. That's how you talk. Ain't too many people can thirty New Jersey twerk. I thirty him, and he actually came to right, and he actually wanted to kill me, and he actually asked to battle me, and I put my foot in his ass. That's how you talk. That's how you get the people like, oh, Swamp talking that stuff. Let's go. And you say the same thing to Rock. You say the same thing to T-Top. You don't be humble on them because they not gonna play with you. You got to let it be known, and you got to bring them to fight. That's how you raise your stock. That's how you raise your stock. Remember that, brother. Use it. That's on me. I'm giving you that one. So don't be humble. No, don't be humble. Gloat on his win. Brag about it. Rubbing in his face. That he ha that he want a rematch because he can't take it back. Rubbing in his face. Yeah, you got smoked. You got 30. Next. Next. Who else wants some? Next. That's how you do that. That's how you do that, brother. And I guarantee you, your stock going to rise. That's how you do that. I'm going to do rock the same way. T-Top going to get it worse. I'm going to do rock the same way I did twerk. And T-Top, you going to get it worse because it's personal between us. That's how you talk it. You make them book. You got to book that battle. That's how you do that. But congratulations, brother. You won that battle. You got out of that fight. It could have been a dog fight. Twerk was coming with some stuff, too. I'm not going to really take much from him. He was coming with it. He had some nice stuff. But it's no excuse for you not knowing your material when you had an extra two weeks to learn it. You had an extra two weeks to learn it, and you asked for this battle, brother. So you can't drop the ball like that, bro. You cannot drop the ball on battles you ask for. Especially when you put it on there, you finna teach him a lesson. You finna teach him a lesson and you don't really like him. He can't rap that good. You can't lose to a person who you just said can't rap that good. You can't do that. And, and, and he got a 30. He put up a 30 on you. People who like you going to try to give you that second. You didn't win that second. You clearly lost that second. Everybody who know battle, uh, no bars and stuff, no, you lost that second. You lost that second, too. You got 30, bro. I'm going to get to you in the raw. Now, you know I mess with you, little bro, but I'm going to keep it real. This battle troop, I got to call. You got 30. Bad. You got 30. You came to fight. You got a couple licks in. You got a couple licks in. Can't take it back. But at the end of the day, you got knocked up out, man. That's what happened. <laughs> he put you on your ass. I'm keeping it real. <laughs> so you ain't helped nobody. 
So the little brother got his ass whooped. Went to go get the big brother for him to get his ass whooped. That reminds me of Jim's and his father. <laughs> That's a replay. Um, Jim and his father. You know, the battle rap blogger who got his ass whooped <laughs> all of 2017. Now he, now he lift weights. <laughs> <laughs> now he lift weights and, and teach us about asparagus and energy drinks. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> anyway, shouts out to Swamp, man. You did your thing, though, brother. Congratulations. Twerk. Like I said, bro. You have to, you have to, you have to use battle rap to your advantages and let it play to your weakness. If I'm you, brother, I just do two minute round. That's it, man. With that being said, it's your boy Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment. That's some question. It's yours. Hit the link in the description box and join Battle Truth. Thank you.